Many plants across the world have steam systems included to help run many different processes throughout the plant. With steam systems, piping engineers need to ensure the piping systems can handle a situation called steam hammer which occur when turbine valves close quickly that could potentially damage the system. Here you can see a pipe stress engineer doing the analysis required for this kind of event. Firstly, running a modal analysis which is required for any kind of dynamic analysis. One can review the mode shapes graphically if they choose to do so. We want to ensure that we capture enough modal mass to provide us with accurate results. Checking the frequency report, we verify that we have chosen a cutoff frequency high enough to capture enough modal mass in each direction for the dynamic loading. Now that we have the model geometry complete and a successful modal analysis, we can add the dynamic loading to the analysis. Installed with AutoPipe is a fluid transient module that will calculate the pressure rise and the speed of sound in the system. It automatically creates the time history profiles at each of the directional changes. Some example time history profiles shown here. With the time history profile created, we can now set up the dynamic analysis to ensure our piping can withstand the load. We now set up a second load case to capture this dynamic event. And with this load case, we will need to go back to the fluid transient module to find the additional pressure rise due to the steam hammer case. We add this pressure to the second load case's original pressure. Run the analysis and ensure the fluid transient load case has been combined correctly. And we review our results whether it be deflections or stress. If you'd like to learn more about this feature and many others that AutoPipe has, go to Bentley's Learn server for all the AutoPipe training content that Bentley has available at learn.bentley.com. You can also check out the webinars that Bentley has provided by going to the bentley.com website and then going to the events link and then scrolling down to the webinars and then you can view the on-demand videos. You can filter through based off of AutoPipe and the language that you prefer. And then you can scroll down and you will notice that we have a webinar on this fluid transient module.